Well, hello and welcome today's, to today's Canva tip. Today we're going to be talking about social media and how you can actually, you know, perhaps engage more people through your social media with better images in your actual posts. So, Jan O'Brien, do you have any just social media tips off the top of your head you just want to throw out there, not Canva related, but just social media in general, like frequency of post, et cetera? I think, uh, you know, I have kind of mixed feelings about social media. Um, I think you have to be consistent. I think it has to be valuable content that you're putting out. I think the things you're going to be covering are important because there's just so much noise on social media. And then I think you have to make some decisions on whether you're posting this on your on your profile, if we're just talking about Facebook, your profile or your business page, because, you know, you, it's really hard to get a lot of eyeballs on your business page. I mean, seriously, I have come to the conclusion that you have to continue to post on your page and have some interaction as best as you can, but maybe you have to do this on your profile as long as you're not doing too much selling. And what I think you're going to talk about is not about selling you're going to give people tips today that yep. maybe these are good to go on both and you might get a little bit of you know interaction uh that way or people realize that you're still in the real estate business if, you, if you're doing some kind of motivational or how-to tips or whatever whatever yep. we're going to talk about today yeah. right so yeah exactly that, you know, that's that I, I i totally agree with you with what you're talking about jam because i think it's you know you can over overdo the sell 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 and but if you're going to be on social media at all, you do have to be consistent. So I think the important thing is to keep your name in front in their, you know, on their device when they're scrolling through. Well, and it needs to be quality, which Canva is going to allow you to do. Mm -hmm. The last thing is you've got to have a business page if you're going to advertise on Facebook. So there to me, it's become that we have a page. We don't get tons of interaction, but we do all our ads from there. OK, yep, exactly. Exactly. And then, you know, Facebook and, and Instagram are connected now. And it, when you're on Instagram, you can share to your Twitter or what. I mean, you know what I mean? So you, it's it, it's easier and easier to share across all the platforms way more than it was, say, five, even two years ago, really, where you had to go to each one individually and do posts. And they all had to be different size images and all that right. kind of stuff. Image sizes still are a little tricky. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, and get started here. Um, uh, so, like I said, every Wednesday, we are going to be doing our, our, our Canva tip. I just want to, and I'm going to do this for the first few weeks here. If you are not a Canva user, go to Canva.com. You have a couple options there. You have a basic option, which is free, a lot of great content there. And then there's a pro option, which is $12.95 a month for up to five people, um, which is actually a great deal if you've got a team uh, uh, for, it's like $2.95 a person. Um, if you go and you sign up for the basic, you can get a 30-day pro free trial. So, why not do that? That way you know what's in pro and you can play around with that. So go to canva.com, uh, set up your account. It was funny. I was playing around in Canva yesterday and we have done so many Canva um, tips and like little snippets of training throughout <laughs> throughout the time here over the few last few, uh, few years. We've got about six Canva accounts. I need to go in and, uh, <laughs> and delete some of those. So uh uh, to free free up space for the rest of the world. But anyway, uh, we highly recommend Canva here at WBO Coaching, which we talk about all the time. So enough of that. Uh, but uh, you can get all the information over at Canva.com. So today we are going to talk about social media tips. And what I really want to just show everybody, just so you have a better idea how to navigate through and what's available uh, on social media already built into the system with their uh, preset uh, templates. So we're going to go through the, the what's already there. And then we're going to build a custom social media post um, that we can actually post online. And then we have a special offer for you actually today at the, uh, the end of the presentation. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to jump the screen down here for a second. We're going to bring up Canva so we can get in there and actually play with the program. This is your homepage of Canva. Well, this is actually our homepage of Canva, but yours will look very similar. Uh, all of your designs are in that second row. There's a couple places you can jump off right from the very beginning to get to the social media uh, posts. Up here at the top, you can search for designs and templates in the search box. So if you're looking specifically for maybe a Facebook you know, post or a Instagram post. You can just type that in there and it will pull those uh, options up. Or right here across here, the top menu, the second one over is social media. If you click on that, it shows you all of the pre-sized design templates that they already have made for you. So Instagram post, Instagram stories. When they added this one, Jan and I about died. We were so excited because those Instagram stories can be so boring, right? So 
in this, you can uh, create a background. You can put your video right inside the post. And we're not going to go into all this today because it's all kind of the same. You know, once you learn one thing, you you kind of learn it all. But well, now you have a TikTok background. Look you, at you that. Can, exactly. And that's relatively new, too, because TikTok is crazy. I saw the funniest speaking of TikTok. <laughs> and of course, we're digressing already. Okay. Um, <laughs> I saw a TikTok uh, this morning with a dog putting on a face mask. <laughs> I had to watch it like five times. It was just actually hysterical and amazing. I'm not sure how they got that dog to figure that out. Anyway, Facebook posts, fo posts Facebook And covers. can I say real quick, Matt, of course, you're doing that from the Canva mobile version. So you can do your story right there. Oh, you know? absolutely. Right. Yep, so you right. put Canva on your phone and that way you can post and stuff right yeah, from there. Thank you for saying that, Jan, because I rarely do that because I'm on my computer all day long, but you're absolutely right. So that, that's the you know, easy way to do it. But you can see they have uh, YouTube thumbnails uh, sized all out for you, which is perfect because these things change a lot. The sizes strangely change, and uh, they keep up to date here on Canva uh, all the time. Pinterest pins, Twitter posts, Facebook ads, everything you're going to need is going to be right here. So since we were talking about Facebook, let's just go here and go to a Facebook post. Okay. And that's going to pull up the Facebook post size. You know, it's a little bit more of a rectangle, not a square like uh, Instagram. All I have to tell you, I have found really, I use the Instagram post size image more than I use anything else because it tends to fit on just about everything. Um, it will definitely fit on Facebook. So you'll have no issue there. Uh, Twitter, it cuts off a little bit of the uh, outside of it, but you can still, if you push your information more towards the center, you can still uh, use that image on, on uh, Twitter. So, you know, if you don't want to go through and make a bunch of different sized images that square typically i think works the best um that's just my little pro tip uh for you know getting getting around things so this image size in case you are curious is 940 by 788 okay that's the strangest thing in the world right so uh anyway it's there and it works what i want to point out to you here over on the the uh the oh you're, you're not seeing my screen are you hold on because i because i clicked to something new that's always the fun of this. The minute you click, there we go. There we are. Over here to the left, you're going to see a ton of pre-made templates that are already done over here in Canva. And I'm telling you, there is just about everything in the world. You that want gets to overwhelming, to be honest. It does. And you can go down the rabbit hole in this. Last week, we talked a little bit about the coronavirus uh, choices. If you go here, you can see a ton of things that uh, are about the coronavirus. So if you want to you know, do your little PSA every once in a while in your social media, talking about social distancing or wearing a mask, all of that stuff is just right here for you. You can just throw, throw it right on in, you know, maybe add, you know, change, you know, add your logo to it or, you know, put something else on here. You can do whatever you want to. These templates are there, but you can, you can change anything on here just like you would be able to in any other template. So super convenient, super uh, easy for um, holidays. Let's just see. I know there's a trillion Christmas things on here. Uh, oh, wow. Already, already pre-made Christmas posts that once again, you can use as is, or you can go in and- um, Change anything, the colors, the message. Yeah, yeah, you can do anything you really want to to it. And it's really great because a lot of times when you're looking at a blank, uh, blank canvas, you you get that- Well, like, that's me. Yeah, that creative block. Like, like, I don't know. Where do I start? You know, <laughs> like, Matt, uh, here's some words. Here's the thought. Can you make it pretty? Yeah. And, you guess. and it's funny. I if, When we first got into Canva, they didn't have very many tem uh, templates. No, they had it's some, evolved for sure. But it really has evolved. And you it, I kind of had to evolve with it because I always I felt as though, you know, I wanted to do my own creative things. Right. But I really have found that the power of the creative tools that they have in Canva plus my creativity actually makes it even better product. So as you continue to play around with it, you'll use their bones and then you'll make it even better and fit your brand or whatever the message you're trying to send. So so much you can uh, you can find just in the templates alone. Now, here's one. I don't know if any of you realtors out there that have this have looked, but oh my God, there's a lot of real estate templates that are already in this program. Uh, let's hear for real estate agent. Uh, there's just a bunch of little, well, they're not a bunch in there. There's a few things in there. The one that I wanted to look at today are just, you type in real estate agent, or excuse me, real estate. And uh, um, whoops, what's happening here? Did I miss my templates? Yeah, that's what happened. What's happening? What are you looking for? 
when I did this earlier, there were a ton of great real estate. And they're not showing up now. What is happening? You know what we're going to do here, guys? We are going to resize this image to a... Because I tried this when I did the test on it as an Instagram. I don't know why that would make a difference, but let's mm. just see. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's a good tip that I just learned wow. myself. Uh, the templates are not the same across all, all categories. So in Instagram, the, they were better templates is what we did. Yeah, very, and here's the thing. Here's the trick around this. So let's say you wanted to build a Facebook post, and we're going to – this is great that we've ran into this situation because we can actually do a real live thing here and show you how you can actually resize something. Um, but they have open house templates in here, you know, just, just listed seller seminar, home buyer seminars. I mean, there's just a mm – -hmm. A number of things. I don't know what Hanukkah is doing here, but there you go. So let's go in in here and build a little template. Uh, um, uh, excuse me, build a post. So I'm going to do a post that's going, uh, we're going to post it today to our Facebook group, our internal Facebook group. So I'm going to show you how to do the whole, walk you through the whole process here. So we're going to do something for our weekly um, uh, Facebook Live. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to go down here to folders. I'm going to add our logo to this. I think I want a brown, the gray logo on this one. So I'm going to have to, I don't have the gray icon by itself. So I've got to crop that image down a little bit. Done. Resize it, drag it up here. Okay. Cool. And I think in an upcoming um, episode here of Canva Corner, Matt, I definitely think we should talk about organizing your folders and naming your documents. Because as you get into this five years later and you have literally thousands of images and things you've created in your Canva, th there's folders and other things that you can do to organize your, your Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you an example of we just I just went through a couple months ago and um, organized all of our our actual folders. Actually, I'll show you that right now. <clears throat> we have a WBNL coaching. We have something for our clients. But then down here, all of our images that we have, have, I have a ton of images we have for Wandering But Not Lost. I actually went and I put all of them in by by national park or by area oh, of the United nice. States into folders because I was we had like seven folders and they all hold like 200 pictures. So there's like 1,200 pictures and you had to scroll through 1,200 pictures to find what you were looking you for. You can drag them, right? Later, once you yeah. create these, you could oh, drag sure. them out and put it's, it in another it's, one. And it's easy to do it, but if you like you to your point, if you wait forever to do it, uh, it absolutely takes forever to do it. So do it as you go, people. So, uh, all right. So I added Canva Corner down here every Wednesday, added our logo up at the top here. I'm going to add another picture, uh, I think, here, because I wanted to show this um, uh, feature every single time we are in Canva because it is my favorite thing. I'm going to crop this picture down. <laughs> I'm gonna hit That's that. That's not your wave. You go, yeah, exactly. You go up to effects and hit this background remover, which I, I I cannot stress enough. It's the most wonderful tool in the world. You can do almost anything, not only with your own personal pictures, but with pictures with inside Canva. You can oh, take. Oh, that is so that. cool, Matt! I'm telling you, I'm learning so much. So here. see, <laughs> this so, is great. So there we go. So we got Matt's Canva corner or Canva corner every Wednesday logo on there. There's me saying, hello, come on to our little Canva class. All right. So this is a, as we already talked about, an Instagram size post. We're going to change the size of this post, though, and we're going to make it a Facebook post. So if you click down here, you hit resize at the top. Only in the uh, premium version, right? The business. Well, version. you can resize in the basic version. You can't do the magic resize. Oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. So you could do so, this in the free. Right. So we're going to go to Facebook posts. Now you can copy it and then resize it. So you still have your Instagram post and you have your Facebook post, which is what you're going to want to do if you're going to make separate size images around everything. Right. The reason why you want to do this as opposed to rebuilding it, even though that was not a hard template to play with. Uh, well, first of all, it's not available on the Facebook side, but mm -hmm. um, also you you want all the same elements to be in the post. So I'm just going to hit resize now because I really don't need both of these. So see, it stretched it a little yeah. bit. Not and with so it. you have to go in and you have to kind of augment your, your design a little bit. So let's just move this over. 
Let's move that over. We'll make this a little bit bigger. And we'll move this dot right there. Okay, so now we have a Facebook size uh, post. So you can do a couple things now once you want to post this. You can either download this, which is the little down button here. You can You're, download. Uh, you can't do it right now because you will not be happy with the fact that the uh, logo is off center. Are you, well, okay. I'll, I'll change that. Thank you for noticing that. Okay. Uh, when, when you go to download, you can select either a PNG, a JPEG, PDFs, you can print, you, uh, you have, uh, MP4s. There's a lot of things you can do. That. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, actually, let's do that since we're in here. I really believe, and Jan and I have talked about this a lot, and our friend Cosmo is also really into this as well, which and this makes total sense. On Facebook, as you're scrolling through, anything with motion is going to catch your eye. Right? Wouldn't you agree, Jan? Oh, yeah. 100%. Right? So they do have now in here little stickers that you can put in things. And I use them all the time. As a matter of fact, there's one right here that I think I'll use in this. But uh, down here, where are the stickers? So like animations or something? Yeah, they're oh, in this area. Stickers? Yeah, you it's called. Went, they're called stickers. You just went by it. What? Did I? Yeah, it was high. It was, I saw it. Well, you can always search for anything too. It's like you could search for fireworks or confetti or whatever, and it would come up. So I'm going to use this one because I, I kind of like this little starbursty thing. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, put it down here. Nice. Yeah, cool. Right. So now this is no longer a just a single image. This is an MP4 video that's actually going to be there. Now, if you want to add another little twist on there, so I rarely do this because it's just something I, I think it's for something s silly like a post. Uh, you might not want to do, but you can add music to your uh, things as well. So let's add the Vivaldi theme. Uh, over <laughs> here. Okay. So now we have that all going on in, in here as well. Actually, maybe I didn't add it. There we go. Okay. So now when you go to Facebook, you're going to get that little, um, <laughs> you know, but you're also going to get music as well. All right. Okay, I like right. it. Yeah, <laughs> so our post here? is um, uh, complete here. Now what we can do, so what I was gonna say is you can download this as an MP4 and then you can upload it anywhere you want to, put it on YouTube if you want to. I mean, there's no, it's not really a video, really, you know. That's there's a key no, point, you have to download it as an MP4 because it has some motion. Right, exactly. Now you could download this just as an image and then it would just be the normal image here too. Okay. But okay. here's the thing also, you can publish right to Facebook from here, from Canva. Nice. So if you, want to, if you want to publish it right to your Facebook page, you just have to hit the publish to Facebook you're going to choose your your where you're going to want it to go. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. It's down. Oh, no, that's right. Hold on. So we're going to post it to actually maybe I did connect this. Hold on one second here. I want to see something you can post to groups, but I'm not sure if I've done our group here yet. And uh, oh, yeah, I did. I got to find it. I got a lot of groups I'm in. Okay, so the Wanderers Club. You are in a lot of groups. Yeah. <laughs> They're almost all Disney groups. So there you are. So I'm going to post this to the. Oh, no, I have to add the. Oh, you're going to have to just. Well, this is good, though. It tells people yeah. what, what has so to what happen. So, what you have to do, we, we had to do this for StreamYard, getting StreamYard into, uh, into your Facebook group. You have to go in and you actually have to add the uh, uh, Canva app to your. Uh, Allow it. group in settings so you can go in and do that but i know this is set up to work to our um wbnl coaching page sure. so let's set this up or i think it is mp4 yep let's write something here join us every wednesday oh i didn't fix that logo but that's all right we'll live um for tips Tricks and hacks in Canva. All right. And now you simply publish. And it's going to think about it for a second. Then it's going to post right to your page. So that's cool. So you don't even have to download it. You don't have to download it. You know, it, and, it, and I, heard, I I rarely do this, but you it, it sure makes it easy, right? Because you don't have How to worry about this. It. Pardon me? How come you don't do it that way? Uh, because usually I post it in multiple. Well, I guess you could do it in multiple places. It just I have a. I guess here's my deal. You have your. You have your routine, cool. and when yeah. you're in your routine, it's just like you know. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that logo. Goodness gracious. Well, and your body is not exactly where you wanted it to be, but it's no. okay. That's all right. We'll live because I'll be taking this post down. This was for example. <laughs> well, I think you should, well, you should redo it because I love it and I think it's cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people to go to our group. That's funny. Yeah, it actually, yeah, I'll, awesome. I'll repost that to our repost. So in this one short lesson, we've learned how to use a template, how to resize it, how to add your logos, how to uh, add an animation and music. And honestly, easy peasy. That's right. Just got to get exactly. around and get comfortable in there. And as you, as you see here, here it is on our Facebook page. Oh, oh. now see, that's so cool. Easy, easy peasy. There we are. Lemon so, squeezy. And right, right above that are your are comments also posted? Like where are the comments? Do, 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 do. Yeah, right there above. Beautiful. Yep. Okay. So, you know, Come on. That's you, fun. You, can't, you can't beat Canva for the ease of getting things done. I, I'm going to say this every week during these tips. We do not want you to go down the Canva rabbit hole and become mm -hmm. a, uh, you know, a super marketer because uh, that's not the point of this. The point is for you to to use this to get some things. <laughs> that, I'm telling you right now, I'm just going to have to say you are going to have to create a uh a thumbnail because we're going to put these up on YouTube and it's got to have that picture in it. Yeah. Okay. It's got to yeah. have your guy in there. Okay. So we're going to do it. For sure. <laughs> That's funny. So talking, talking about social media a little bit more uh, about, gosh, I think it's been about four years ago. Now, Jan and I created a program called WBNL 365 and it was a part of our um, Wanderers Club when we actually had that uh, version going on. Now it's a part of our social media uh, course uh, which is also <laughs> the social media course is a part of our connecting your real estate business course uh, in uh, on wondering, but or excuse me, uh, wbnlcoaching.com. So if you are interested in actually getting 365 social media posts and social media um, uh, images, we have that done for you all together. So you could literally post something every single day of the year and offset your other stuff that you're doing. So it's just a, it's just a simple, a simple little thing that can help add uh, value to your, um, to your, and make it easier for you to do social media. So what we're going to do today in our Wanderers Club Facebook group, I am going to uh, post all of the posts that we have created for December and uh, all of the images that we have created for December. So you're going to get December for free. You can give our 365 a test drive. And if you love what you see there and you find it to be a useful tool in your toolkit, uh, you can just go over to our website, wbnlcoaching.com. And uh, for just a mere one 97, you can purchase not only uh, our social media uh, course that includes WBNL 365, but our entire connecting your real estate business for 197, which is a freaking steal just with the social media posts alone for crying out loud. So I just wanted to give you an example of what we have in December that you're going to find. If you go download that, we have uh, nine winter home selling tips in there. Uh, so once again, we, our social media that we built in 365 is a little bit of, you know, inspirational quotes, a few real estate tips along the way, things that happened, you know, on certain days, like it's pancake day, you know, just kind of silly stuff. But at the same time, once again, it's getting your name out there. It's getting your, your, your name in front of them as they're scrolling through their social media um, every day. Now, this is your project, your Canva project with this is you need to go in to your, uh, get all of your posts from the site. You need to upload them into Canva as images and then you need to put your logo on every single one of those images. That way, when you're posting that image, uh, your logo will be on there. Or maybe if you don't have a logo, your name and your contact information, mm -hmm. whatever you wanna do on there, just to make it more branded to you. So we're just giving you a little present here for December, um, just for being loyal, Wanderer Club members. So this slide actually just shows you the a little snippet of what goes along with each one of these uh, pictures. So they're going to have 31, uh, or is it 30? How many days are in December? 31. 30, 31, 31 image and 31 um, posts that you're going to be able to have. And they are going to be located in our Facebook group, the Wanderers Club, in the file section. So that is our present to you today. That's it for today's tip. John O'Brien, any questions? Any no, I just once again learn something. I can't. I love it. Every week, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to understand Canva better. So thank you very much. You are very welcome, and we will see you next week. I think next week we're going to talk about logos. So we will okay. jump into designing a few logos and kind of playing around with that whole concept. All okay. right. And don't forget, everyone. Today at ten o'clock, we have our Plan, Pivot, and Prosper workshop. Um, uh, and it's going to be live right here in the Facebook group. This is an awesome class, Jana Brown. You want to give a little more information? Yeah, um, 
done it a couple times now, We're getting some great reviews on this. This I think it's good. We, we put something together that hits it on the target, nail on the head, how, whatever little euphemism you want to have there about what we've been through, where we're going, get you ready for 2021 and beyond. So business planning plus, it's not your, it's not your normal business planning class. We're going to cover business planning, but we're going to really get into sharing. And this, this one, we're going to have uh, Cosmo, a partner on the team. He's going to help and come in and talk a little bit about the magic he does to generate leads. Um, so excited about that today. 10 o'clock. Awesome. Ya. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see you there. And until next week, Canva up.